Hey guys, it's Jacqueline. Uh, there's a plane going over me right now. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy. Here in the airport parking lot, it's about 10 o'clock at night. My sign-in's not for another 30 minutes or so. I am um, starting a four-day trip of red eyes. And to make it worse, it's daylight savings time. So I lost an hour of sleep. So it's just a mega bummer all around. But I'm here, I gotta make a paycheck. So that's just what I'm gonna do tonight. Since I'm at the airport early, I thought I would do a little a day in the life of a flight attendant, uh, red eye edition for you guys. So earlier in the day, I just slept as much as I could. We ordered takeout in for lunch, and normally I would do um, a more intensive meal prep than what I did today, but I was just not feeling like doing really anything. I just got back from Dublin, Ireland uh, two days ago, so my whole clock is off. I'm just awake during odd hours, sleeping during odd hours, and now again I'm going to be awake during odd hours too and flying until um, I think 6.14 was the time that I'll be landing tomorrow morning. So it's just a di giant treat going on in my head today. I need to put my bags together and get onto the bus so I can sign in and not be late for this trip and get in trouble at work before I even start working. Um, but going back to my meal prep, I normally would put more time and effort into cooking something really healthy for myself. However, since I was so tired, I did not. I did a lot of pre-packaged food I brought uh, I bought some fresh veggies and I chopped those all up and before I left my house I took a picture um, of what I'll be eating on this trip insert photo here pretty healthy huh guys I'm doing good anyway let me put my bags back together and we'll chat again um, once I'm signed in and legal to fly Hey guys, I'm back. I'm signed in for my trip. Uh, now there's a few things that happen in between the sign-in phase and um, before the boarding phase. So right now I'm going to take my bags onto the plane. I'm going to do my pre-flight safety equipment check. So during this time I'm going to make sure everything that we need for passenger safety is loaded onto the plane and also fully functioning. For this trip I'm also working in the back galley so I will be making sure that our food and beverages are ready to to go uh, during the boarding process. So I'm probably not gonna film any of this, it's pretty labor intensive, and I'll need both of my hands to make sure all of that gets done. But as soon as I move on to the next phase, which will be the boarding process, I'm not gonna film that, that's gonna be kind of boring getting 230 people onto an airplane tonight. So after the boarding process, then we do our safety demos and in-flight service. So I could kind of walk you through that in more detail in a little bit, but right now I've gotta make sure that all of our equipment is on and that the food is ready to go. Morning guys, it is 7.19. I just got into my room in Miami, let my hair down, I'm gonna wash my face and try to sleep for a little bit. We only have um, an 11 hour layover. We ended up being delayed because why would I be so lucky to work a red eye on daylight savings time and not have a delay? It's just my kind of luck. So in those 11 hours, I have to account for sleeping, waking up to do my makeup, showering, doing my hair, uh, eating something, probably not gonna go to the gym tomorrow. I should, well, I guess it's today. I should, but I'm probably not going to. Uh, there's the 30 minute van ride to the airport and we have to be on the plane an hour before passengers get there. So when all is said and done, 11 hours is not 11 hours in this hotel room, it's just 11 hours on the ground. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the room. It's pretty nice here. Someone just tried to bust in my room while I was giving the tour. We could have had a, a guest speaker. All right, let me flip the camera for you guys. Ah, the ever important emergency instructions. You pay attention to them on the plane. You pay attention to them in the hotel room. Pardon all my bags, half my uniforms off. Pretty cozy. Uh, important things that I like in a hotel. Well, Good TV stations because sometimes I'm a little slothy like to watch TV oh they have free breakfast downstairs so got frosted flakes for when I wake up at five o'clock tonight and uh, a refrigerator because that's always important I like to bring my own food there's my little lunch tote got all my bags in the fridge so that's the tour that's my room and now it's time for me to sleep for as long as I can morning Unfortunately, it's time to get up, so I am going to do something about this, and then I will walk you guys through uh, what my day is going to look like. 
I'm back with a fixed face and I'm almost ready to go. I'm sipping on my hotel coffee, but I don't think it's gonna do the trick because I just looked at my schedule and I failed to realize what a crazy long day I have today. I have a two leg day, so in flight attendant speak, we call each flight that we work a leg. So my first leg is from Miami where I am now to Las Vegas and it's blocked at about five and a half hours of flying time. So I have to be at the airport an hour before that flight. The shuttle takes about 30 minutes, so that already puts me at a seven hour day. And then in between my flights, I have an hour of ground time for deplaning. I do a plane swap, so I get off of the plane that took me from Miami to Las Vegas. I get on a new plane in Las Vegas, and then I work a three and a half hour or so flight uh, from Las Vegas to Chicago. So that puts me at about nine hours of flying for the day, but a 13 and a half, 14 hour uh, duty day is what they call it. So I'm only actually getting paid today for nine flying hours because we only get paid when the doors are shut on the airplane and the plane is actually flying, flying hours kind of makes sense. I'm going to put a few links below. I have blogged about this before, how flight attendant pay works. If you do have any more questions about that, take a look at the blog and then maybe I can do another vlog and answer, uh, you know, more in depth about how flight attendant pay works. But for today, I'm working 14 hours. I'm getting paid for nine. So I'm going to consider myself doing five hours of charity work today. We'll just, we'll pretend I'm a good person and I do five hours of charity on a regular basis. I did figure out what the silver lining of today was though. Being in Miami, our terminal is right next to a shop that sells Cuban coffee. And I don't know if you've ever had Cuban coffee, but that stuff is so powerful. And I think it's just gonna be the pick me up that I need to get me through this crazy day of flying. I'm a little concerned with the second leg that I work because going into Chicago, there have been delays with that winter storm Stella coming through, tons of snow and everything. So I just hope it doesn't delay me. I'm already looking to get into Chicago at five o'clock in the morning. So that just sucks already. Today just kind of sucks. I don't need to deal with any delays on top of working four days of just red eye craziness. But um, I'm gonna finish getting this ready, put the hair up, put my uniform on, get my bags repacked, walk out the door, the hotel uh, shuttle is gonna take us to the airport, we've gotta go through security, and then I kind of start my day all over like I did yesterday when I talked to you guys. So I'll get on the plane, I'll do my emergency checks. Um, all four days I'm working in the back alley, so I'm gonna make sure the food and the drinks are ready to go, especially on these Vegas flights. They like to drink. I'm grateful that today is a Tuesday flight uh, that I'm working to Vegas and not a Friday flight because those are just more out of control than anything ever needs to be. So uh, I'm gonna get ready and I'll check back in with you soon. Hey guys, it's day four. I'm still in my hotel room. I'm actually supposed to be at home. It's uh, 1.15 here in Chicago. I was supposed to be at my house at, I don't know, I probably would've gotten there like 9, 30, 10 o'clock this morning. So instead I'm just kicking it in my hotel room here in Chicago. Our pilots who were supposed to be flying the plane in got stuck due to winter storm Stella, meaning there's no plane for me to work on. So 3.30 this morning, crew scheduling called me and let me know that my showtime has been delayed about 12 hours, which is a real big treat. Just how I wanted to end a four day red eye flying trip. Just trying to be productive here in the hotel. Got my my gym clothes on, went for a little bit of a run, an indoor run, because it's freezing here. And I organized my bags. My girlfriend is getting married, so I did some online shopping for her upcoming wedding. Hey, Ash. And uh, yeah, just trying not to dread it as much as one cannot dread sitting in a hotel room instead of being home when they had a ton of stuff they had to do at home today. But that's just the life of a flight attendant. I've got about an hour or so before I need to get ready. Today's an easy day, I only have one leg, so I'm very grateful for that. And then my trip is over. I get to enjoy only one day off in between trips. I fly again this weekend um, for St. Patrick's Day, but it'll be okay. I signed up for this. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of mini series that I did, uh, The Day in the Life of a Flight Attendant Red Eye Edition. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, put any comments you have down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I know it's been like two years since I did my last video. I swear I'm gonna be better about making these videos and posting them and just giving you a little bit more insight about what goes on in a flight attendant's life. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. There are
they're pretty fun to make um, and I hope they're equally as fun for you guys uh, to watch. So again, thanks you guys. Enjoy your weekend. Happy St. Patrick's Day all.